I'd like to introduce Mr. Pekka Lundmark and uh, the CEO of Nokia. Well, welcome, Pekka. Well, thank you very much. I want to talk to you today about the metaverse. Here you can see an example of a digital twin or avatar in the consumer metaverse. He's the perfect CEO. He can work 24 hours a day. <laughs> he can also run 10K in less than 30 minutes. <laughs> and he's a Knicks fan when he's in New York. <laughs> but on a more serious note, here is a digital twin for a power network showing the real-time fire risk to power lines from vegetation one of the main reasons for wildfires. This is just an illustration, but the Australian company Fugro have created a prototype for TAS networks in Tasmania, Australia. Here's another example of a digital twin, an experimental nuclear reactor. The US Department of Energy's Argonne National Laboratory are using a digital twin as part of their research and development of a next generation nuclear reactor. And, and then the next one is digital twin of a human immune system. 200 scientists led by teams from the University of Florida and Indiana University have set out plans to create a digital twin of the immune system, saying it would be a major breakthrough for precision medicine and the treatment of diseases like cancer and uh, COVID-19. A large part of our work over the past decade has been focused on researching the underlying technologies of the metaverse, separating the reality from the hype. But whatever the future holds, one thing is for certain. We must continue collaborating so that, as Nokia's purpose statement says, we can create technology that helps the world act together. Thank you.